Hello balloon artists. Today I'm going to show you how to make this hedgehog centerpiece. You're going to need eight 11 inch rounds. I'm using winter green. And we're inflating duplets to seven inches. So that's a cluster of four. You can inflate with a hand pump. So let's see how many strokes of the pump we need for seven inches. Start in the downward position. Fourteen. I make that fourteen strokes of the Qualitex hand pump. Okay, so you can calibrate that way as well. And of course, if you've got a digital sizer, then you will know your setting for your digital sizer by now, I'm sure. Okay, round off. Place one of duplet over the other and wrap around a couple of times. Take four five inch rounds and inflate with two strokes of the Qualitex hand pump. Put a twist in your balloon and just hang on to that. Round off. Put the next over on another and tie. And make another duplet like this. And take your two duplets and just wrap them around one another to form a cluster of four. Take your small cluster of four and place it on top of one of the larger ones and it's important that one of the small balloon is in between the two balloons on the bottom and then take one of the necks from your large cluster pull, pull that up and don't let go <laughs> pull that up into the cluster of four and wrap that in you can hang on to that take your other larger cluster and pull that neck through and wrap it around. Okay, so everything is connected together. Okay, and we want this to sit so that you've got the um, balloons lined up like this from the, the two larger rows. Okay, take a weight. I'm using a water weight. And if you want to learn how to make a water weight, check out my video. And just pull the neck into the base and into that cluster and wrap around. And in fact, if you want to do this earlier, um, that's not a bad idea. Okay. There you go. Next, take a 646. I'm using blush. You can inflate these with the electric pump, but if I'm just doing an odd one, I tend to just use the hand pump. Okay, we want to inflate that pretty much all of the way. And tie. Into the tip end, I just want to put a twist there to trap the air and snip a little hole in the end. And then I just want to tie in a 260. And then take another 646 and inflate. Okay, we're not going to be using all of this. Just let out a little bit of air. And then what I want to do with this one is tie it directly onto the knotted end of the other 646. Okay, 
chain. All will become clear very shortly. Take the tails from that 260, pull them into the base, and fold it around a few times on both sides. We want to squeeze off a bubble along this 646, um, about here. Give it a twist. Okay, and then fold this in half and wrap the other 646 around the neck here. And if you want to, get hold of the neck of that other 646, wrap it round just to tighten everything up and pass it through the centre, okay? And then we want to bring the rest of this 646, I'm just going to soften it, squeeze some of the air to the end, make sure that's nice and soft, and bring that back down here. Measure off the bubble. This one can be really soft. Twist off a bubble about here. A little bit long. Okay, and then I'm just going to snip off the end and let the air out. Okay, tie a knot in the end, but right, I'm going to soften this a little bit more and just tie off the end. And then with this amount of slack, just pull that back right the way through to the front and wrap around the base. Okay. Take a 350 to match the body colour. And just wait most of the way. We're not going to use all of this, so it's not critical. This is going to be uh, the muzzle for our head dog, so just rest a little bit of air out. And tie. So twist up a bubble that's perhaps about five inches or so, and then twist another bubble to match. Okay, and wrap those two bubbles together, and take the nut and nozzle and pass it through. Okay, and then we can snip off the end. And tie. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pull this in here. And wrap that around a couple of times. And then I'm gonna tie that on to one of the nozzles here. Next, you're going to need some six inch hearts. I'm using a pearl assortment. And we're going to make duplets. Okay, so that's inflated to, uh, with three strokes of the hand pump. And then next, that was with four strokes of the hand pump and tie together. Okay, so you're going to need a few like this with four strokes and three strokes and then you're going to need a few that are all the same size so four strokes one two three four one two three four okay and then just tie together So take one of your duplets and a 160 and just wrap that 160 in and for good measure I'm just going to tie it on to that duplet, okay? And then take that duplet and pass the 160 through the centre of your hedgehog's body, okay? And I'm going to have these smaller uh, size hearts facing forwards. Okay, and then on this side, 
take another one of your duplets and just wrap that in to that 160. Okay. And then we can go across the back here with that 160 and we can wrap the end into, leave a bit of slack, we can wrap the end in here. Okay, wrap that around a few times. Okay, so that's what you've got. And we want to build up the hearts around the body. And one thing I like to do with these 160s, I just like to snip off the tip end. Uh, because I find if I leave the tip on uh, when I'm tying knots and I'm wrapping in, you can end up with a little air bubble and uh, it can just weaken the, um, the knots a little bit. So take another one, wrap in through the centre, smaller part facing forward, pull that through, take another duplet just wrap them around, then take this around the back and just wrap the end into that duplet there. starting to add the duplets to the head I do drop the size slightly so I go two strokes on one of the balloons and three on the other and the duplets. and wrap the end of your 160 around and then just tie onto the nozzle for good measure. Okay. And then I'm going to pull this through the head here. And then 60 through. And then just on this side wrapping another. What we can do here is go around the back and secure the end here just by wrapping around a few times. filling in until you are happy with how your hedgehog looks. Okay, so you're going to want to adjust your heart to um, suit how you like things to look. And you may find that you want to cut off some of these nozzles here just to uh, hide those uh, when you're finishing off. 
So take a mocha brown and you just want to inflate at the end so you've got a little bubble for the nose. And then just tie that off. Easier said than done when you've got all this <laughs> to pull through. Okay, so just make sure the nose is shiny by just massaging it there. Okay, and pull this through the top. Okay. And then take this over the top and pass this back into the head. Okay, so you're gonna to want to, I can't see what I'm doing. Pull this back. Okay, can you see that? And then round the back of the head. Back around the front. And then once you've done this, you're gonna to have to adjust all your parts again. Hedgehog's nose, and then take 160. Again, I'm using mocha brown. And we don't want to use very much of this. So I just inflate and I don't know why I've inflated it all. <laughs> just Tie that off. Okay, and then we want to make a little ear. So an ear of about four fingers, just a loop twist. Pass that through a couple of times, and then let down the end. And tie. And I'm gonna Try that a second time because you never quite know with these 160s. And then make another one of those. Just give your ears a little bit of shaping just by holding them here, cupping them here, and massaging them forward a little bit. Okay? Just gives them a very slight curve. It's just these little things that I think make a difference to your pieces. Okay, and then as we did for the hearts, we're just going to pass this through the centre of the head. So that's why you need quite a long tail on the ears. So, want to, I don't want the ear to be too cinched in. I want it to sort of be visible through this mass of parts. And then take the other one here. And in fact, now you can trim off the rest of this one. Just leave a little bit here to tie on. And then just tie on here. And again, I'm going to tie twice. And then just trim off the excess here. find a suitable position for those ears. For the face of my hedgehog, I always draw the face from my Quince cotton ball books that I use for my character Bramble the Hedgehog. So I've always got this face to refer back to uh, and that's my go-to face for hedgehogs. I've actually got, I've now got four Quince cotton ball books out. Uh, they're all available on Amazon as paperbacks or ebooks, and um, each book is um, it's a little kid's storybook, uh, but everything is is illustrated with um, balloon animals. So um, out in the country countryside. So uh, check those out. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay. So now for the face. So I'm using the Sharpie brush tip. And first of all, I draw a sort of a crescent moon shape. Okay. And then with the black 
brush tape. I draw an oval. With a fine point, I just go around and outline the brown bit. It's a little kind of outward bit here. And then some blusher. Put just here. You don't need to add arms to this design, but if you want to, this is how I do it. I take a 260 and inflate and then I let quite a bit of air out because I've got a nice long stretchy bit here. Okay and then I gauge the size that the arms need to be. So let's have a look because I'm going to have them coming down here to so about there. So twist off a bubble there, make another one to match, okay, and then you can cut off this end, tie a knot, okay, and then we can just attach our arms here. into the neck, round the back, cinch them, <laughs> don't pull them too far through, <laughs> and then just tie those two ends together, and then you're going to have to adjust all your hearts again. Okay, and just trim off the excess. So I've got some of these paper flowers. I've got a couple of packs of these and I'm just going to uh, stick them on with glue dots. I'm just going to soften the base a little bit, soften the look of the base a little bit. And I've got some pieces of mesh cut up. It's this I don't know what to call it other than the other than mesh um, and I'm just gathering them at the center roughly at the center of each piece okay I think will an arrangement that I think will look nice and then I've got a little piece of tulle here in pale pink. I'm just going to scrunch that up a little bit. Find the central point of that. Okay, and then use that to just wrap around the mesh. A couple of times. And then I'm just going to tie that at the back here, tie the tool that's going to secure the pieces together. Okay. And then I've got a 160 and I'm just going to pass that through the back 
of this knot. Okay, I'm going to tighten that knot up. And I'm going to, just going to use that 160 to pull this into the base. So I'm just going to pull those tails in and then tie them together at the back. And then I can work on positioning the bow once I've secured it. Just adds a little bit of visual softness to the base.